What is up, everybody? Welcome, welcome to the channel. Welcome to Murray and Jay Away. This is the Gaming Chit Chat Show. The gaming podcast where we talk everything gaming, everything related. And this is a special episode. Um, the first episode after E3, I call it. The mayhem. The mayhem has ended, right? The chaos. The calm before the, the calm after the storm. Um E3 is crazy for us uh, YouTubers and gamers because it's just a lot to cover, right? It was it was fun though. I wanted to talk about this topic. I wanted to talk about this discussion. I've been doing a lot of thinking, and I wasn't gonna I wasn't gonna do a show on this. And I said to myself, you know what? I gotta vent. I gotta I gotta talk about this because this is. For me to report on this, for me to actually bring this up, goes to show you how crazy this has gotten. Now listen, I've been through it all, okay? I've been through the Nintendo versus the Genesis. I've been through, you know, the, you know, the Super Nintendo. I remember, if you haven't caught on already with the title of the, of the video, this is about console wars, okay? Right off the bat, I'm going to tell you this right now. I have never seen it this bad in my life. Now listen. I, and I've always said this. It's great for competition. It's always good to have this, you know, so the other competitor can step up. Because without competition, nobody steps it up, right? This is different, though. This is... See, console wars... When I think of console wars, I think of a different era growing up. Being through it all. There were console wars where, yeah, they got really into it. I mean, I've seen actual fights. Being in school, college, on the internet. And... A lot of times they were all in fun and, and, and you know, they were wholesome, you know, innocent humor. And they end it, you know, with a handshake. It's not like that. It's gotten so bad where it's actually nasty, vile. But not only that, I, 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 I see people going off back and forth on Twitter for fucking days. I mean, it's like, give it up already. I'm saying to myself, I'm like, I had every fucking console since the beginning. And I understand, you know, you want to justify your purchase and you want to stand by your company. That, you know, that's great. But I got to tell you something. This is like a new age of console wars. These people go all out. These people will jump off of a cliff to attack you. I'm, I'm talking, I mean, I'm talking to the extremes. Have you been on social media or have you been living under a rock? There's people that have created accounts just to go after other people that have created accounts. That I'm talking that go after IGN, that go after GameSpot, that go after G4, that go after Nintendo Life, that go after the official Xbox page, that go after, you know, Sony, that go after... Jack Ryan that go after Phil Spencer that go after Doug Bowser that go after and, and and it's like holy crap it's like I the shit that I'm reading is like next level shit and I've seen it all but like I've been through the errors where like I remember the freaking you know the company's going at it I mean meaning you know, like fucking Sega making commercials, making fun of Super, you know, Super Nintendo, making fun of Mario Kart, and then showing Sonic, leaving them in the dust. Back when Sonic and Mario were rivals. That goes to show you how old I am. Um, you know, the Dreamcast coming out and trying to fight with the PlayStation 2 and, you know, the Xbox and the PlayStation being big rivals in the beginning. And, and you know, and but now it's like the actual user base is going at it. And the shit I'm seeing, 
Like, this is nothing new. I've seen this my whole life, but this is another level. I mean, the whole thing with, like, generations, like, so we've been hearing a lot about PlayStation announcing, oh, you know, we might have said this is a PlayStation 5 only game, but it's coming to PS4. Holy shit, you got to see the f Xbox fanatics. You got screwed, ha, ha, ha. How do you like to, how, how is it that you bought a 499 brick? And then you got the Sony people. Xbox has no games. How is it to own a system with zero exclusives? I got Demon Souls. I got Ratchet and Clank. I got Returnal. What do you got? And now with the Xbox fans after E3, we won E3. We had the best show. You guys sucked. You guys had absolutely nothing. That's why you never even showed up to E3. Meanwhile, Nintendo's like sitting in the back. Like, yeah, yeah, just, just go fight it out. We're doing our own thing. We're sitting this one out. I mean, I see a little bit of it, but it's mostly Xbox fanatics and, and PlayStation fanatics going. And they call it Xbox and Sony ponies. And I'm, I mean, I'm talking, I could sit for hours at a time on social media and just read this shit. And it's like, dude, I mean, it's it's vile. I mean, uh, you know, I hope your mother drops dead. I hope your father dies. It's like, dude, are you fucking serious? And then if you get in the conversation, you're like, I own every system. I play them all. I love Xbox. I love PlayStation. They're like, go fuck yourself. Get the fuck out of our conversation. Yeah, because I don't fit the narrative. I don't fit the, I'm, I'm not choosing a side. Oh my God. It's times like this where you're embarrassed to be a gamer in the community. Let's say something. I moderated a lot of the stream chats during E3. That shit was nasty. That shit was vile. Greg Miller, actually, um, right before the Amico presentation from Intellivision, he even apologized and said, you know, we've no noticed that the stream chats have been vile. Yeah. Welcome to the new world. I mean, stream chats have always been nasty, but I mean, it was nasty. I've seen some things in there where I was like, holy crap, man, how does that fly? They're taking the fun out of it. They're taking the whole competition out of console wars. They're not even, it's like, it's not even fun anymore. It's not even competition anymore. It's like a personal level. And this guy the other night, he's like, well, he's like, let's talk about frame rates and let's talk about this and your game dipped and your game ain't that great. And oh my God, could you imagine Ratchet and Clank being, Ratchet and Clank being the masterpiece? You make fun of our Halo Infinite. Well, uh, have you seen the latest Halo Infinite gameplay? It looks like a fucking masterpiece. So you could take your Returnal and you could shove it. Oh, by the way, half that shit's coming to PS4, so you guys got screwed. And then it's like the PlayStation people going on the Xbox forums. Fuck your system. Fuck your... Game Pass sucks. Here's my Game Pass. And it's a guy holding a stack of games. And then there's another guy going, Oh, how did, how did, how does it feel to spend over $1,000 on, on, on your crap games when I just spend 10 bucks or whatever a month? Who got screwed here? And it's like back and forth. And it's like, I never see nothing like it. It's like so fucking crazy. It's so fucking crazy. There was a group of people that were going at it the other night. And this, especially during E3. E3 was like a fucking sign that said to the idiots, come here. You're welcome. That was like a shit show. That was like a welcoming shit show for, for, for maniacs. I mean, I guess it was to be expected, right? But I mean... It was unbelievable, but there was a group of, there was a bunch of people that were just fucking teaming up on this one guy. He, in, I mean, he was innocent. He put up a picture of him holding up his Xbox, 
But then a couple days later, those same people got bombarded back from Xbox people. Like, like there was fucking army swarming in. Like these people protect themselves. Like their armies come in. Like I see it both ways. Like if you fuck with an Xbox person, you'll see an army of Xbox people come in. Same, same with Sony. Same with Nintendo. Especially Nintendo. But, yeah. I mean, what do you guys think? Have you guys been seeing this? You have to. It's sad, really. And it's a shame because it's like, I don't get it, man. I go into my GameStop and they're like, Sean, here's what we got for Switch. Here's what we got for PC. Here's what we got for Xbox. Here's what we got for PS5. Like, why? I I could, I could, I... I could never understand why you would want to limit yourself. And the only, I mean, I mean, the only logical thing is your budget, right? But okay. So say you only buy one console per generation, but why? Okay. But that's the reason to belittle the other person. Well, because I got the PlayStation five, I have to, I have to destroy the series X guy. Or because I bought a Series X, I got to make fun of the Switch players or the PS5 players. I can't agree with them. I can't just say, oh, I bought this system, but good for you. I'm glad. You know, it's like, it's like, you know, with I, th I think it was like Ratchet and Clank when it came out and Phil Spencer was like, Sony, you know, congrats. Congrats on your game. That's, that's class. That's a guy that has class. He's a class act, you know? Or like with Shuhei congratulate somebody over by Xbox or somebody at Xbox, like Aaron Greenberg. It's like, that's the way it's supposed to be. I just, I'd never seen anything so vile. <laughs> to each his own, I mean, hey, what makes the world go round? It's not going to end. It's not going to, it's not going it, to, it, console wars, you know, it's funny because like I said to myself, console wars is still a thing, but even when it was, I don't remember it like this. I don't remember it like this. And then there's this, there's these websites that track multiplayer games for Xbox. They track like like viewer base. They trap like dips in sales. They tr they, they, they they then there's like these people that have to shove it in, in Sony people's faces and how many people signed up for Game Pass. And then there's, oh my God, every time a PlayStation 5 game is announced for PS4, the Xbox people are right there reporting on it. You got screwed. Generations, generations. Wow. Wow. Never mind the companies going at each other's necks. It's the people. It's the fans, right? It's the viewer. It's the it's the player base. I know there's some people out there that are sane. I know there's some there's some people that play games to play games. You're trying to tell me that there's not diehard Sony fans that can't respect Halo. That can't respect or or die hard, die hard Xbox fans that can't respect God of War or Horizon Zero Dawn. Come on. What about Forza? All right, listen. All right. I don't care what side of the fence you're on. If you deny that Forza is an unbelievable is an unbelievable feat in technology and is visually stunning and fun to play if you're a PlayStation like look, I, I listen I am one of the biggest Gran Turismo fans going and Gran Turismo 7 on the PlayStation 5 is one of my most anticipated games when it got delayed to next year, I was crying. 
But when I saw Forza Horizon 5, I was so excited. So I don't understand why you have to, I don't know. I, I don't get it. That's another big fight now. It's like unbelievable. It's literally unreal. I mean, you know, it, it, it's actually unbelievable um, that that's actually happening. And I guess it's never going to end. I guess, I guess from what I could see online, it's only going to get worse. Chime in on the comments below. I want to see what you guys have to, to say. Have you guys been noticing, like I said, this whole console war things? What have you guys witnessed? What stories do you have? Have you been ever in a, in a confrontation of the console wars? What side are you on? Are you like me and you play them all and you're neutral and, and you enjoy everything? I want to hear from you guys. Let me know what you think about this whole situation. And am I right on reporting it? Take care, guys. I hope to see you again soon. Be well, be safe, and see you on the next episode of the Gaming Chit Chat Show. Oof. Getting crazy. It's getting crazy. It's getting madness is what's happening.